Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Richard Conway, reporting from New York 2022 for Room Now. The conference is in Copenhagen. Uh, I'm reporting uh, virtually, uh, so I'm in Dublin, Ireland um, at the moment. I'm here to talk to you about an oral presentation by Pedersen et al. This was OP0067. This was presented in the plenary abstract, abstract session um, on Wednesday at the conference. The title of this that was that there was a more than six-fold increased mortality risk in patients with incident or A and depression in a large cohort with 10 year follow up. Uh, so the background to this, we, we know that depression, very common problem anyway, um, but increased among our rheumatoid arthritis patients. And what the authors here did, they utilized the Dane Bio um, registry, very well uh, characterized uh, rheumatoid arthritis registry in Denmark. Um, and they got people who didn't have rheumatoid arthritis or depression um, at baseline. And they define that as not having had in the three years prior to the incident date, a prescription filled for metotrexate or an antidepressant. So perhaps not perfect um, in saying that they didn't have rheumatoid or depression, um, but a relatively good uh, uh, correlate, um, I think. And then they looked at patients who developed incident rheumatoid arthritis and who filled for the first time following the rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis, a script for antidepressants. And they cross-linked that with deaths from the Danish civil registration uh, system uh, for deaths. Overall, they included over 11,000 rheumatoid arthritis patients with 57,000 person years uh, follow-up. 10% of these patients uh, developed uh, depression or filled antidepressant prescriptions over the course of the study. As the title suggests, overall, they found that there was a six-fold increased uh, mortality among uh, those who uh, filled a prescription for antidepressants. And that this was increasing um, over time. If you look at the, the graph in the presentation of the abstract, you can see that the lines are diverging um, the further on the study uh, proceeds. This effect was particularly marked um, among those less than 55, so younger people with a hazard rate, rate ratio of 6.66. It's more marked in men than women with a hazard rate ratio of 3.7. It was about equal um, in seropositive and seronegative patients. Um, so this is interesting study. Um, two main possibilities about what this means. It most likely means that a diagnosis of depression is associated with increased uh, mortality in this rheumatoid arthritis population for reasons um, that which are not fully elucidated at present. Of course, there's also the possibility they're using antidepressant prescriptions as a surrogate, that antidepressants could be associated with mortality. Um, however, that's not something um, we've really seen among the use of antidepressants for other indications, so a less likely uh, hypothesis. Remember to follow uh, Room Now across our various platforms for more content from Euler 2022, um, and follow me, Richard P.A. Conway, uh, on Twitter.